Okay, guys, apologies. I uh, missed you. Can you actually stream at the moment? Yeah, just, just record. At the moment, actually, I, can't, I keep losing my, my stream here as well, and I'm on 4G. <laughs> so, guys, anyway, so, so how was our blockers being used? So, how was your day? I tapped into Wi Fi for a two and a half megabyte connection okay. at Tavir. Yep. I stepped just outside the door, no obstructions or anything, bang, drop. 100% complete drop in signal. There's no way that that happens naturally. It's not a degraded signal. It's not interference. It's a physical block. And it's not just on the data networks for 2G, 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, the lot. Okay. Anyway, here, uh, hold this for a bit. Good afternoon, brothers, oh, sisters, and comrades. Oh! Okay, we'll see if we can actually do this. Yeah. Well, I hope. I know, keep going. I hope you're not. Two wits. I can say there's no damn spirits here. It's a terrific turnout. <laughs> my name, my name is Martin Gould. I'm the president of the uh, southeast uh, region of the uh, TUC. Today, today is the largest industrial action in Britain, or I should about say, about the second largest about 50, industrial action in about Britain today. since the Second about World War. It is only... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is only the strike on the 30th of November 2011, <laughs> defending public sector pensions, which was bigger than this. This is a London rally. It's not a national rally, it's London. But there are major rallies taking place all over the country. There are rallies and protests being organised in many London boroughs, such as Barking, Dagnum, Croydon, Havering, Hillingdon, Redbridge and Woolwich. on town hall steps outside workplaces throughout London. There's a tide of humanity telling this government that it's wrong. Telling this government we will not accept an attack on working people's pay and jobs. Trade unions and its members are telling the government we will fight back. <laughs> Government workers and support workers in school suffered a three-year pay freeze between 2010 and 2012. They then had a below inflation 1% pay increase imposed on them last year. They've now been given the insults of a 1% pay offer this year. It's not even live. They're being offered a paper. Send, say, send, send this to uh, the BBC. This is live. In real terms, in just five years. Guys, can you add the hashtag Very BBC news and breaking news, please? Yeah. 
before this massive pay cut. This is a national scandal. 75% of those workers are women. Better uh, They're not that, uh, better sell that They're down, dedicated the public sector workers. We have TV crews from all over the world here, including China, Russia today, obviously, AJ, the lot. And there are a few people from the BBC. But why not lie? Teachers are fighting against pay cuts, against performance related pay, against pension cuts against enormous increase in their workload. <laughs> they are fighting for the future of state education. Up, that's bad. Civil servants have joined this day of action while protesting against pay cuts, redundancy and privatisation. Firefighters have joined the strike action protesting against pension cuts and a threatened increase in their retirement age. CSA members are on strike at Transport for London. UCS members went on strike at Lambeth College for six weeks, fighting their management threat to tear up their terms and conditions of employment. Their struggle goes on. The government said at the weekend that uh, the real terms cut in pension pay will continue for another four years. Four more years cuts, is driving hundreds of thousands into poverty. I don't think so. That's it. No this government is determined to destroy no. public oh, services that already ordinary people depend on. It says public sector workers are lazy and unproductive. This government is determined to impose financial punishment beating on every public sector worker, making them pay for bankers' recklessness and greed. If there is an economic recovery, I can't find it. If there is an economic recovery, public sector workers are shut out from it. Public sector workers are not standing alone. Quite the reverse. Back to members at Ritchie, and we've already seen them, the Ritchie Cinema in Brixton, have been taking industrial action since April. They're on strike again today, fighting for a London living wage. They have asked all union members to boycott the Picture House Cinema Group and the TUC supports that boycott. The last time I stood in this square was to celebrate May Day and to remember the life and work of Bob Crow and Tony Benn. Today, they would challenge us to have courage. They would challenge us to have principle. They would challenge us to organise and fight in what we believe in. If they were here today, they would challenge us to act in solidarity, to win a socialist future that's fair for us all. And that journey starts with a fair pay rise for all who deserve it. Thank you. introduces the first speaker. The back of the march is at Piccadilly Circus. There's still a lot of people to come in. It's getting very congested over this side and there's a lot of space in that corner. So can we ask people to try and move around so we can create some space for other people to get in? We've got still got thousands of people who want to come into the square. So try and move over to this side please and we'll get everyone in. Thank you. Okay. Yo, go to the BBC, there's only 1,500 people here. <laughs> okay, brothers and sisters, our first speaker Great. is Philippa Harvey. She's a full-time teacher in a primary school in Brighton. She's recently elected Senior Vice President of the National Union of Teachers. Philippa.
Revolution.
Sorry, I'm going to